Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is Gogo here from Zhuhai, China. So in my last video related to these two cars, Tesla Model 3 and BYD Han, I made a comparison between these two cars and many of you found interest in it. And in today's video, I would like to give you a more in-depth review of these two cars. So first, let's have a look at the basic statistics of these two cars. Start with the Tesla Model 3. It is equipped with a 55 kilowatt hour LFP battery. It is a standard range class Model 3 and based on NEDC estimation, it has a range of 468 kilometers. And here the BYD Han has a 77 kilowatt hour LFP battery as well. And based on the NEDC estimation, it can have a range of 605 kilometers so this one is a long range BYD Han and this standard range Tesla Model 3 has a motor on the back so it is a rear wheel drive it has 220 kilowatt and 440 newton meters of torque it can go from not to 100 kilometers per hour in only 5.6 seconds so compare with Tesla this BYD Han has one single motor driving the front wheel so it is a front wheel drive it has a 160 kilowatt electric motor and 330 newton meters of torque it can do from not to 100 kilometer per hour in only 7.9 seconds so this is slower than Tesla Model 3 and as for price wise when I bought this Tesla Model 3, it cost me about 249,000 RMB and this BYD Han long range luxury line cost about 258,000 RMB so this car is a little bit more expensive than this Tesla Model 3 Also this car is very very long, it is 4.9 meters and almost 2 meters wide so it is a large family sedan and the following part, I would like to talk about the driving position of this BYD Han. It is very roomy here, okay, and uh, you have plenty of room in the driver's seat. I'm uh, five foot 11, I can find a very comfortable sitting position here for me easily. And also, uh, the seat is pretty wide, so I think uh, even if you're a little bit fatter than me, it will be no problem at all and also it is also equipped with the lumbar support has plenty of adjustment and also it has a memory seat here on the door panel you can re remember two seats I think that's a pretty good function and it all comes as standard for this luxury line I would like to also talk about the infotainment screen and the interior design of this car so uh, the steering wheel is not very sporty it kind of feel like the last version of Mercedes S-Class, right? A two-strike steering wheel. Uh, it is uh, covered with leather. It's very luxury feeling and also very comfortable and very thick when you are feeling. But definitely the design is not very sporty. But I think maybe maybe older generation will like this kind of design, right? And also it has an infotainment screen here. It's pretty large, it's very informative, it can show you a lot of information for your driving details and it's very good. And here is the large infotainment screen here. It is basically the same size as the Tesla Model 3, uh, but uh, it is also based on an Android pad and uh, you, so you can download some uh, app in it. For example, we have a WeChat here, we have QQ here, and also TikTok, ITE is the Chinese version of YouTube. You can watch videos there. So yes, you can download some uh, app that you want to use on this pad. And uh, another thing that is very cool about this infotainment screen is that this can uh, switch to another direction by simply pressing the button here. So it becomes the portrait mode. So in this mode, it is easier for you to use apps such as TikTok, right? We can have a look. 
A few inches later. Okay, the TikTok is now turned on, so you can uh, use this to swipe it, right? It becomes uh, easier for you to use this in this uh, uh, portrait mode. Of course, you can always put it back on the landscape mode when you are driving it. So uh, that's a pretty good design, I think. So based on NEDC estimation, the BYD High has 605 kilometers of range and the Tesla Model 3 only has 468. But what's their real world range? So we did a range test uh, for these two cars before we came to this park. And uh, the Tesla Model 3 has an average consumption of 12 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. So the real world range for the Tesla Model 3 will be 420 kilometers. And uh, for this BYD Han, it has an average consumption of 14 kilowatt hour per 100 kilometers. So it has a higher average consumption, which is acceptable because this car is a larger car compared with Tesla Model 3. And the real world range for this car will be 550 kilometers. That's really a lot. I mean, more than 500 kilometers of real world range is more than adequate for you if you are mainly driving the city. And I think also this is okay if you always have a motorway journey. Um, but yeah, Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus, I think it is only suitable in city driving condition. Moreover, I also conducted charging tests for both cars. And at this charging station, uh, BYD Han can achieve 120 kilowatt at maximum speed. And when it finished charging at 100%, it shows about 605 kilometers of range left and it takes one hour and five minutes to charge from 5% to 100%. And as for the Tesla Model 3, I conducted the charging test at version 3 supercharger and in theory, the fastest speed should be at 250 kilowatt, but for LFP battery, it cannot reach at that speed and the fastest speed I can get is around 150 kilowatt and it takes about 55 minutes to charge this Model 3 from 5% to 100% and it can have 423 range at 100%. We should note that BYD Han has a much larger battery so I think the charging test Han win this time. So now I would like to talk about the driving experience of this BYD Han. Um, once I jump into this car, I feel that it is much more comfortable compared with Tesla Model 3, especially the suspension here. Uh, you can feel that it is very soft, uh, therefore it's quite comfortable, especially in city driving when the uh, tarmac surface is uh, not very smooth. Uh, it can provide you with a much wider uh, comfort level in this car. And um, moreover, uh, the steering wheel is also very comfortable. It is not uh, that sharp and responsive compared with Model 3. Uh, it is definitely a better choice if you want to drive very in, in a very relaxing way. Uh, it can provide you that feeling. Um, moreover, I think the acceleration of this car is also uh, very smooth. Although it cannot provide you the power that Model 3 uh, does, right? The Model 3 can do not to 100 kilometers in 5.6 seconds, but this BYD Han can only do it in 7.9 seconds. Uh, it is not very uh, fast, and also the acceleration pedal is not very responsive. You can feel that here is a lag uh, between the acceleration uh, it's kind of feeling like you are driving a petrol car, not an EV. Uh, but I think for some people, they may like this uh, less responsiveness from the acceleration pedal, uh, simply because it is uh, more comfortable and more relaxing driving style in city. And also, I would like to point out that the driving position of this BYD Han is pretty good. It is a larger and wider car, so we have more room in the driver's seat. Uh, but I think this uh, seat is a little bit hard compared with uh, Tesla Model 3. I uh, prefer the softer uh, 
uh, material inside the seat. So I think it will be much better if it can be softer. So during long journey, you won't fall, uh, won't feel tired at all. So in general, I think the driving experience of this BYD Han is pretty good, and the NVH control is very impressive actually. It is very quiet inside here compared with Model 3, so that's a very good advantage. But for this advantage is that it is not a sporty car at all. Uh, it is a very comfortable family sedan, so if you have any uh, people that you need to carry for a long time, BYD Han will be definitely a better choice. But if you enjoy driving by yourself, and you don't need to care about the feeling of your passengers, then Tesla Model 3 is a better choice for you. So I think that's all for the summary of the driving experience of this BYD Han. So now I would like to give a conclusion of this uh, BYD Han. Uh, it is a well-made car with a very luxurious feeling of the interior design and also a very comfortable driving and relaxing driving style as well. So if you need to carry people at the back very often and you love a comfortable driving style, I think the BYD Han will absolutely be your choice. But if you want a more sporty kind of feeling when you are driving, then Tesla Model 3 will be a better choice. And I think the technology gap right now between um, Chinese-made electric vehicle and Tesla is narrowing right now, especially those new brands such as Neo and Xpom. And who will be the ultimate winner in this battle with electric vehicle in the future? I think we should uh, expand the timeline to judge this uh, question. To give the answer to this question, we need to have a look at 10 years later. And at that time, we can find out who can be the ultimate winner in China. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoy watching it, please like it, share it, and comment down below about any question you have related to uh, Chinese-made electric vehicle. So see you soon. Bye.